tuned because throughout this video we're going to be giving away a load of this stuff just to say thank you for you guys here in 2018 for being such an awesome audience. I've got loads of stuff here. So guys, let's get into it. I really struggled to sleep last night. Really, really struggled to sleep last night. Therefore, I woke up really, really late. I'm so tired today. Let me show you how absolutely disgusting it is outside today. It's absolutely awful. <laughs> driving force but a question I get asked so much is Alex what's yours what motivates you to do what you do what gets you up in the morning Alex how do you do what you do now take this with a pinch of salt because this works differently for everybody now you guys are either gonna understand this or you're not but essentially what I do in my head is I have a problem or something I need to overcome and simply I just get off on the fact that I'm pushing myself. And that is the top and bottom of it. The fact that I can go to bed every night knowing, knowing that I've given it my all, then I'm happy. If I don't do that, I'm not happy. So guys, I've been using the brand new Honor phone instead of my iPhone, but I've got my iPhone back out today, whacked on my Apple Watch because, well, I've set myself a goal for the day and if I can do it, I'll be really, really chuffed. I want to burn 1,500 calories. Do you think we can do it? It's two o'clock in the afternoon so far and I've already burned 162. So it's safe to say guys, we've got some work to do and the gym definitely isn't the place for burning calories. The garage is. <laughs> Now guys, setting goals changed my life. Honestly, there's no point in working if you haven't set yourself a goal. But the most important thing about goal setting is you set something that's gonna make you work, but something that's also achievable. So running 1,500 calories in one run, well, that would be a very, very difficult task. So I'm gonna go for 500 to start with and see how I feel. Wait, and we're off, okay. Let's do this. Oh my God. Woo. Oh, okay, it's warm in here. It's warm. Okay then guys, I clicked stop on my workout about an hour ago. I had a little bit of food and now I'm here at the office. Let me tell you guys exactly how many calories I'm on. Bang, 715. Oh, okay, I'm not allowed to show you guys this. This is a present for somebody who watches these vlogs. Now this doesn't even have my address on it, but it's addressed to Mars Media, so I, uh, wow, okay. I, guys, am just as baffled as all of you. Let's get inside of here. Whoop. But thanks for the lovely card and thanks for the chocolates. I appreciate it. Oh my God. I forgot how crazy it was in here. You guys are gonna go bonkers when I turn the camera around. Oh. My. God. I have nowhere to walk. Okay then guys, so because I've set myself my 1,500 calorie goal mission today to make sure that we're making the most of our day and making sure we're gonna smash it and have something awesome to achieve by the end of it, I thought, how can I use this to my advantage? And I thought to myself, right, there's something that I've needed to do with my life for the past three months, and I've just put it off, and put it off, and put it off. But I thought to myself, ah, if I come and do this, it's gonna burn a hell of a load of calories, and it's gonna get this job done, as well as work towards our goal today. And that is, guys, tidy this room. And I know that sounds like a really boring and tedious job, but look at all the junk everywhere. And that is the problem, junk. The majority of the stuff in here isn't actually junk. Hidden underneath all of this, 
Well, there's perfectly working ultra wide monitors, there's consoles, there's subwoofers, sound bars, keyboards and mice, PlayStation Gear VRs, tripods, huge speakers, like there's, there's everything in here. There's so much stuff in here. <sighs> Tidy of the room. <laughs> It's going well so far. As you lot can see, I've put this old table, this is actually my old desk, it's so big, on top of this old school sort of TV stand here that was actually down in the office. We never ended up using it because the old one was nicer. So I'll just put that back here, guys, to free up a little bit of space. And what I'm doing is I'm putting all the valuable items, the stuff that I can either keep or give away, and the things that actually work to that side of the item, and well, everything else, um, just goes in the bin. So as you can see, we've got a couple items so far, a couple of computer monitors, a full-on Atmos surround sound soundbar setup right there, loads of high-quality HDMI cables, an old computer, we've got an Xbox, a PlayStation, a lap dog, a monitor, a camera, and I have literally only done one side of the room. Right then guys, I've also spent a little bit of time tidying up down there in the office. I've taken a lot of stuff down to the bin. Do you guys want the grand tour of the storage room and what we're going to be giving away? Well, let me give you like a 360 sort of look round of this room because there's so much. I'll start actually in here guys, this has taken me so long to do. So as you can see, all of this product on here, this is all stuff that is actually brand new and still in the box. So you've got things like Chromecast, we've got water coolers, we've got mouse mats. These are the MM800Cs, these are actually what I use on my setup at home. They're the mouse mats, the RGB ones with the light around them. Got a spare motherboard there, spare mouse, you should be up there. And then all this stuff guys are boxes that are empty because these products are actually in use in the office. And then guys, coming back out over here, we have two of the huge 600 watt LG party speakers. You can actually link them together. And then down here, we actually have two posters that I found that a fan gave me at an event. The reward for good work is more work. Yeah, I can, uh, I think I can relate to that one. We've got some NetGem TV boxes there. We've got some TP-Link smart bulbs and loads of stuff from Ikea. Then my favorite bookshelf speakers, the edifiers there. Xbox One, PlayStation 4, chargers for each of the controllers, lap board, portable monitor, camera, spare computer, three HDMI cables, two ultra-wide monitors, four sets of headsets, two of them being from Corsair, and then one of these ROG ones. This one is crazy, it actually connects with HDMI. An Atmos soundbar, and then over here we have the PlayStation VR, and then my massive Manfrotto tripod, which is, uh, yeah, far too big for any camera I own. So Alex, the big question, what are you giving away? Well, it's a tough one because uh, there's a lot of stuff here. I think there's, oh God, there must be thousands. Um, all of it, all of it needs to go. Well, it doesn't need to go. Everything except from the sound bar and one of those monitors is what I'm giving away. So that does mean there's a monitor left. So guys, let me know with a comment what you guys want and I'll be picking random comments throughout the next week to see who's won. It is important to bear in mind, however, though, you lot, that if you want one of the speakers or the monitor, I think I would prefer you guys to be around the Nottinghamshire area so you could actually come here and pick it up because I don't know how I'm going to ship one of those. But the whole room, guys, is looking so much better. We've got so much gear in here, and I'd love to give it to you guys. So it's lucky that I love giving back. Right, calorie check. <laughs> okay there, guys. We're on about 969, 970 calories right now. We're doing well. We've got about another 550 to burn for the 1,500 calorie marker. One thing that I've told myself so much recently, guys, and this has been so hard to drill into my head after my little hiccup where I got really depressed for a while. Listen to this. Mindset. Literally, if you can get over the battle with yourself and take control of your mind, Things are limitless, honestly. It is easier said than done, so please don't be too hard on yourself if you can't do it. But like I said earlier, guys, I set myself a goal to smash today, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, Google, turn off the lights. Guys, it's so annoying. 
because I live on this building site, and I know I keep mentioning that, but there is a lot of interesting things that actually come with living on a building site. I've complained about noise to you guys. The only other annoying thing is, uh, well, well, me, and the fact that it's always so windy as well. So, like, if you guys look at this, it's fallen over! Like, awesome display of a house, ruined. I mean, look, you can even... I'm not sure if you guys can even hear that wind because this microphone should be pretty good at getting rid of it. It's that windy, in fact, you guys know that I had to ring the fire brigade, yeah? Because my dish fell off the top of my roof, the dish that Luke and I put there a long time ago when I first moved here to get internet from this house from my internet service provider. And uh, yeah, the dish fell off. Okay guys, so for me to use this day to my full advantage, I've hardly eaten anything. So what happens is if you do a lot of running, as to which I'm gonna have to do some more running today to get that 1,500 calorie goal. But if on that one day you shock your body with loads of exercise, is what I'm doing, and then you also don't eat, so you starve your body of food, your body then eats every little thing that you get in your body. And that means it speeds up your metabolism. So if you're gonna have a day where you're gonna do loads of exercise, if you want to, I'm not really recommending it, but just don't eat loads of food, and then you will lose loads of fat really quickly. And if you guys have got any, I don't even know what to call them, fitness games or something that you want me to try and do throughout the day in the vlog, like try and run, one, I'll try and burn 1,000 calories or 1,500 calories off, put it down in the comments, a little game that we could try and do and I could try and complete the challenge in a day. So it'll be quite cool. Guys, I've been getting hella questions about this and it's really, really, Really weird that I haven't told you guys, to be honest. What I want to chat to you guys about is my friend Toby. Now, this is the office space. My room is through there. There's an ensuite in my room. There's another bathroom just there. Um, this is the only spare room I have. Okay then, guys, so you all know who my friend Toby is. I don't really know why you guys would know who he is. He's just been in a few videos, but like, really randomly. Like, he's been in the videos quite a lot, so you guys should know Toad, right? Here he is. Well, uh, yeah, he's gonna be moving in with me soon. Yeah. He's gonna be living here. I don't sound impressed with that. I'm really impressed with it. I can't wait, I can't bloody wait. It's gonna be so cool. This is gonna be happening around 2019, the start of uh, 2019. Toad's gonna be moving in and he's gonna be doing some work for me. So that is absolutely wicked. He's gonna be in the vlogs a lot more. He's gonna be able to film for us and yeah. I'm really excited for it. Living with somebody. Like, YouTube is so lonely. I've actually got a video coming about that tomorrow. Right. We need to burn more calories. For that, I need this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. We've got this. Oh, I am knackered though. Okay then guys, I have just finished. I want you guys to play a guessing game down in the comments as to how many calories I have burnt. In the meantime though, after I did it, I needed some food because I was just dying. Right, so three, two, one, ding! 1,541. Okay, I've just thought when I screenshot that earlier, it might have been slightly different. Just a little bit lower or something. But there you go. Now, my point is proven. I feel great and it's been a pretty crappy day. So guys, when I put this tweet out the other day, exercise is key, I really wasn't lying. I feel great, I feel energized, and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. If you have guys, a like rating would be wicked, but for now guys, I'm gonna hit the hay, I'm gonna pass out like a lion. And I love you guys and I'll see you all tomorrow. Guys. Adios.